Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to sources, the Indian Air Force is set to purchase nearly 114 fighter jets within the next few weeks, and the final contract for the jet fighters would also include technical assistance for its domestic fifth-generation fighter project. This decision confirms the ongoing reports that India is not happy with the progress of its existing stealth fighter deal with Russia, and this might give an advantage to Lockheed Martin with its F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The revised deal now includes that the winning manufacturer will need to transfer the required technology to support India's indigenous fifth-generation fighter program. The contract field is open to both single and twin-engine jet fighters, and the competition will most likely include the American manufacturers, Boeing and Lockheed Martin, with their Fe-18 Super Hornet and F-16 respectively, the French Rafale jet fighter, the Eurofighter Typhoon, Saab Gripen, and at least one Russian aircraft, which can be a variant of the MiG-35 or Su-35. According to sources, India and Russia are just weeks away from signing one of the biggest defense deals between the two countries in recent history. The contract negotiations for the purchase of the S-400 Triumph Air Defense Systems are in the final stages, and are expected to be closed by March 31st. India is planning to buy five systems, that is expected to cost about 39,000 crore rupees, which is considered one of the best air defense systems in the world, with a range of 400 kilometers. Officials termed the negotiations as very complex, as there were thousands of pages of documentation to be discussed for the systems. Russia has already conveyed to India, that the deal should not have any offset clause as it is a strategic system. According to a Russian official, India is negotiating the purchases of Mi-17 helicopters, and Admiral Grigorov each class frigates, and these negotiations are proceeding, and both are at different stages. Last year, Indian media had reported, that India and Russia were holding talks on a contract for 48 Mi-17 helicopters. The two countries were also reported to have reached an agreement on the deliveries of three frigates, of Project 11356. <laughs> Top ministry sources have said, that the Defence Production Board, is yet to take a decision on the 60,000 crore rupees future infantry combat vehicle project, even after the panel of independent experts had recommended that the project should move forward after finding that the evaluation process for selecting the manufacturers to make the prototypes was totally correct. The Indian Defence Minister has said, that a holistic review of the military modernization program has been undertaken along the border areas. She also added, that new surveillance systems are being installed, besides deploying unmanned aerial vehicles and advanced integrated obstacle systems. During the visit of Indian President to Mauritius, India has offered a $100 million line of credit to Mauritius for defense procurement to help its security capacity. India has also agreed to sell a multi-purpose offshore patrol vessel to Mauritius, which will be financed through the line of credit. Mauritius will also have a $5 million grant component, in addition to the line of credit.